Hey everybody, I'm Angela Murrow, reporting from AFI Fest, presented by Audi. I have the beautiful, lovely, talented Anna Biller from the movie Viva. Now, you are the star, the creator, the director, the writer, the what, cost, what Costume else? Costume and set <laughs> designer, <laughs> editor, yeah. editor on film, did some of the music, yeah. You're a busy girl. Yeah. And now, is that because you had a vision that you really wanted to see? Yeah, we didn't have a huge budget, okay. and, and, and I wanted a really specific look like those um, sexploitation films from mm -hmm. the late 60s and early 70s, and I really wanted it to look like it's a movie from that time. So I did a lot of study of the look of the period. Mm -hmm. Also the style of acting and everything that goes into that film and I had it all in here. It was very hard to <laughs> explain it right. um, to people who hadn't studied as much as me. And I watched a lot of those movies. So it was just kind of yeah. easier to do everything yourself? It was easier but it was also, um, it's a whole aesthetic, right? Mm -hmm. It's a whole aesthetic. So the, the art direction is really important for this film and so mm -hmm. I had to do that. And the other stuff is really actually pretty um, Part for the course yeah. for um, low budget, you know, first time feature directors, you know, write direct, writer, director, editor, you know, that, that so sort of thing. Talk to me about the day or the days leading up to you beginning this project. Where did where did this all start, kind of coming together, culminating in your mind? Uh, well, I've been making uh, short films for yeah. a number of years, and they're all genre films, and they're all um, very uh, d uh, costume and set design oriented, mm -hmm. and they're all about like. Um, female desire, sexual desire, okay. and about sort of like women's stories, mm -hmm. and just about lived female experience. Mm -hmm. And would you say you wrote this with women in mind? Is it kind of for women, by women, for women? It is, I, I, did, I did write it to be like a sexploitation movie for women, because the, the original ones are all made for men. Mm -hmm. I thought, well, but some of them are really enjoyable to women because they are. You see beautiful women on the screen, you know, having pleasure, mm -hmm. and being goddesses, and being beautiful, and being alluring. And, and um, that's sort of a female fantasy in a way. If you twist it a little bit, you can make it a woman's picture. It's, made, it's all about the interior of the woman, what she's experiencing. A lot of those old movies were actually about women and, and their trials and tribulations during, during the sexual revolution, but they were, the way they were shot and stuff, it's more about like seeing their ass when they're bending over and things like that, you know? So it's, <laughs> this is really more about the female experience in the film. And her fantasies, and I've got all kinds of things in it from from uh, the old Playboys. I put all these things from the old Playboys in, like the nudist colony, orgy. Um, you know, but they, they become prostitutes for a day. These housewives, mm -hmm. it's like housewives who are uh, abandoned by their husbands, and they go nuts. You know. Go, <laughs> and you, you know. playing the lead. You know, this is actually you going through all these scenarios. Yeah, I did, and I literally had to do it in the movie. I had to do nudity, and right. I had to. I'd be like men pawing me. I'd do sex scenes. Yeah, and it was like I really felt like I did go through some sort of sexual revolution of my own <laughs> making this film. And how is it to see all of that on the big screen? It's very exciting. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, I'm a fetishist, I'm a voyeur. I've got some of the same problems that Hitchcock and, and Bergman and all the great directors have had, which I mean, I think makes me a real director in a way. I'm kind of I'm a fetishist, so you film fetishist. And I'm a fetishist about sexuality of all kinds of things, and I'm a voyeur. I think all directors really need to be voyeurs. Uh -huh. on a certain level in order to be good directors because you have to enjoy watching people spying on people on the people that you're shooting and I got to spy on myself and for that's a great thing women rarely get to do that